The Los Angeles Chargers will be taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. This is the big matchup. Patrick Mahomes versus Justin Herbert. And the biggest question in this game is going to be, are the Chargers ready? Because they're a young team that people have been saying for nearly two years now that if there's going to be a team in this division that's going to dethrone Patrick Mahomes, dethrone the Kansas City Chiefs as the class of not only the division but the, the entire AFC, it's the Chargers because they have RoboQB and Justin Herbert. This is a guy who I've been – here's the thing. There's few people I've seen throw the ball – like Justin Herbert, where it's a literal laser beam in the air, and it feels like it only speeds up as it's getting to its target. Like, he throws a, a laser, a rocket, whatever you want to call it, and not a lot of... I, I just have not seen someone throw the ball to, at the velocity of someone like Justin Herbert has. He's got all the God-given ability in the world. I would say even more ability, just, just sheer gift throwing the ball than than anyone in the NFL the biggest question is are the pieces around him good enough is the talent around him not even specifically on offense but mostly on defense is it going to be good enough to stop or or hinder Kansas City just enough for them to win because we've seen they've been close last year in Thursday Night Football what happened that game that game went into overtime and Patrick Mahomes and Jay, uh, Travis Kelsey did exactly what Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey do. We go dink, 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 run, touchdown, game over. That's that's the Chiefs and the Chargers. That's what it's been. They, the Chargers have been knocking on that door, and this is the year people expect them to not only go, open the door, but kick it down. Will they be able to do it? Patrick Mahomes is coming off a game where he had five touchdowns, 360 yards, and Justin Herbert's coming off of a game where he had three touchdowns, nearly 300 yards, but he didn't get much help in the running game. And that, I don't know. I, I he, Him and Austin Eckler do have a bit of a, a, a – they do have a lot of chemistry, but is Austin Eckler the guy right now for them in the running game? Do you, do you have to give it back to someone like like uh, like Jackson? Do you have to maybe get someone else? I don't know. Because Austin Eckler has been very good in the NFL for a very long time. The issue is he's been in the NFL for a while, especially when we're talking about running backs. I'm not sure if they got the juice. It's corn. Let me tell you all about it. It's got the juice, but I don't know if the Chargers do. And for that reason, I'm going with... The Kansas City Chiefs in this one. I'm going to call it 27-24, a close game, but they're not, the Chargers are not going to have enough juice in them to beat the Chiefs. That's my prediction. Let me know what you guys think, though. Um, I see Hill Santa in the chat saying Keenan Allen is out. And yeah, absolutely. Ke Keenan Allen is out, but Mike Williams is the guy right now. And I think he's more than capable of making up for Keenan Allen being out. This is, this is a guy who we saw last year. He really got into form towards the end of last year, especially. Like that last game, he was the guy that Herbert was going to play after play after play. And he, I think he's going to do his part. My problem is, is the defense going to be able to stop Patrick Mahomes? Are they going to be able to hinder them enough? I don't think so. That's why I got them winning by three. I got the Chiefs by three in this game. Hey everyone, we hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Until next time, keep it real.